Hello guys, how are you today? I hope you are doing all well in these difficult times. Today I've prepared for you something more energetic, something to challenge yourself with. So if you have the energy, please join me and let's do it. We'll start standing and because we'll be a lot on our wrists today, I want you to stretch them so our fingers are facing down and palms away from our body. Don't forget to include the thumb as well. Now turn the palm the other way facing our body and gently push. Great, release. Now left hand. So again, don't forget to include your thumb as well. Now turn the other way, palm facing the body. Alright, shake it off a little bit. And now I want you to spread your arms and imagine as if two walls were collapsing on you and you want them to stay away from squashing you. Now turn the wrists to one side, to the other. Now the elbows, rotate to the other side now. And finally the whole arms to the back and to the front. Now stop the arms above the head, tangle your fingers. And with exhalation, we'll bend to the right side. Inhale, prolong your spine. Exhale, bend a bit lower. Breathe. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to the left side. Inhale, reach a bit further. Exhale, bend a bit more. Right. Inhale back to center and put your palms down. Shake it up a little bit. And if you are not there already, go to the front of your mat. And we'll start with slow sun salutation A, just to warm up. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Spine is nice and long in one line with head and arms. Ideally, we want to see the tip of our toes. And breathe. Exhale, forward fold. We want to have our belly touching our thighs. That's the main priority here. Our head is loose. And with every exhalation, we try to straighten those knees a little bit more, but only as far as we are not detaching the belly from the thighs. Inhale, halfway up. Here we really want to have strong back, spine in one line with head. Exhale, palms on the floor, jump or step back, Chaturunga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, open the chest. And exhale, downward facing dog. Walk out the feet, push the tailbone towards the ceiling. The priority is straight back, so it's totally fine if your knees are still bent. Come to stable, long deep breath in and long deep breath out. Inhale, lift your right leg up and exhale, put it between the palms. Now fix your back leg to 45 degrees. Your hips are always facing forward because this is warrior one. 
We are up Hadrasana one and we want to lift our arms up and breathe. Stay in this position and hold. Exhale. Back to plank Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Again, we can walk out the feet. This time they should be a little bit more stretched. Let's get stable. And this time, inhale, lift your left leg up. Put it between the palms again. Adjust your back foot 45 degrees. And lift your arms up. Breathe. Your hips are facing forward. Exhale, palms down on the floor. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Great job. Let's stay here for a few breaths. Look forward. Hop or step between your palms. Inhale, halfway up. Straight spine. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, chair pose. Inhale, back to standing. Exhale, palms to your chest. Well done. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, palms to your chest and we'll do side rotation. So we'll rotate to our right side. Make sure that your knees are in one line. That one knee is not in front of the other. And breathe. Back to center. Inhale and exhale. Rotate to the left side. Again, check your knees if they are in one line. Right, back in the center. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. This time, entangle your arms behind your back and we want to kind of throw them over your head as far as possible. It's great shoulder opener. Exhale, palms on the mat, step or jump to plank pose. Make sure your wrists are under shoulders. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, touch knee to forehead. Left up, knee to forehead. Inhale, right, exhale, touch. Inhale, lift, exhale, touch. Let's keep on going. In our own pace. Last one. Right. Left. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, put between the palms, warrior one. Fix your hips, both facing forward. And now tangle your arms behind your back, straighten the front leg, and with exhalation, we'll bend over our front leg. Try to push your belly closer to the front thigh. Now release the palms on the floor around your back. Roll 
back up. Let's transfer to Warrior 2, Virabhadrasana 2. So make sure the back foot is 90 degrees this time. Your front knee is not in front of your ankle and also is not falling to the left side. Your hips are nicely open. Exhale, peaceful warrior. Let's release. Tangle our arms behind our back and fall over our right thigh. Pushing a little bit lower. Well done. Let's lift back up. Now we'll pivot our back foot to the front to high lunge. Let's put our arms into L shape. Inhale, straighten the knee and arms. Exhale, bend the knee and arms back down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, up, down. Inhale, exhale, last time inhale, exhale, palms on the floor and Chaturunga Dandasana, inhale, Udva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Well done. Now, lift left leg up, exhale, kick it to the left side. Inhale, lift up, exhale, kick it. If you can't manage, you might as well just kick it with uh, your knee bent. That's three, two, last one, let's do it, I know it's tough, left back up and with exhalation put it between your palms to warrior one. Great, let's fix ourselves here. Tangle our arms behind the back, straighten the knee, and with exhalation we'll fold over the straight leg, pyramid pose. Again, we are trying to do our best and push the belly towards our thigh. Release the palms on the mat. And just breathe. Great, let's go back up and transfer to warrior two. Again, check your knee. The front knee is not falling to the right side. Your hips are open and your back foot is 90 degrees. Exhale, peaceful warrior. Put your palm down, tangle your arms between your back, exhale, fold over the front leg. Slowly roll back up. Now pivot the back foot to high lunge. Lift up and as before, we'll put our arms to L shape. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. This is also great for balance. And 
down to Chatarunga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, right leg up and exhale, we'll directly do the side kicks. Let's do it. Four. Three. Nice and strong. Two. Last one. Really kick it hard. Inhale up. Exhale back to plank. Let's move on the forearms. And hold here a little bit. Breathe. Remember, breathing will always, always help you to hold the pose longer. And release on our knees. Great job, everyone. Let's go to Balasana, Child Pose. For now, arms are still in front of our body, pushing to the mat and pushing our butt towards the heels. And now, release also the arms along the body and completely relax. Breathe to your spine. Slowly roll up. And now we will try the pose that is called Pakasana. So if you've never done it, uh, be careful, do it very slow, spread your fingers, make a nice base and put your knees towards your armpits. And now just try to play with the balance, lift one foot off, the other one. Once you feel confident, lift both feet, look forward. And really engage the core in order to lift yourself even higher and straighten the arms. Great, release. If you want to play a little bit more, just pause my video and try it out. Uh, now I'm going to do it one more time. And this time I'm going to kick directly to Chatarunga Dandasana. And inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's go on our knees. And let's move to a seated position. Now I want you to adjust your palms behind the body approximately the width of your mat. Fingers facing forward and the feet slightly away from your butt. Inhale, push the hips up. Exhale, butt between the palms. Inhale up. Exhale, between your palms. Inhale. Exhale, hold it. Inhale, push a bit higher. Exhale, move between your palms. Last one, inhale, push a little bit higher and exhale down, release on the floor, great job. We'll stay in this position called Dandasana. Uh, we want to have our back super, super straight. So prolong that spine, open the chest, you really have to engage the core here in order to stay up nice and straight. Flex your feet, lift your heels away from the mat and hold and breathe. Great job. Exhale, release and round your spine over your thighs, over your legs. We want to be completely loose here so even your head and neck is completely like hanging down. Let's roll yourself up and we'll transfer to boat pose. So we want to have our spine straight. This is the most important thing here. Knees bent or if you can manage, 
straighten your legs and hold release and we'll do it two more times hold and breathe straighten your spine release last time really do your best this is the last chance to strengthen the core hold great job release and now we will finally lie down on our back and lift up to our shoulder stand I want to remind you that this is called a shoulder stand because the main support here are shoulders, not the head. Really lift your legs high and nice, strong body. And now we'll slowly exhale to Halasana. So our legs behind our head and we can tangle our fingers behind and breathe now bend your knees and lower them towards your ears karnapidasana pose great well done slowly lift back up to your shoulder stand and now I want you to slowly release but really slowly column after column on the floor and slowly also your legs on the floor as a counter pose to the shoulder stand, we cannot forget about the fish pose. So put your palms below your butt and open to fish pose. Nicely open your chest. If you want to, you can lift up your legs. If you can manage, you can lift up your legs and arms at the same time. And release. And now we'll turn our palms upwards to our final pose, Shavasana. And release your whole body and thank yourself for dedicating your time to this great exercise that was very tough but you managed and you can really feel happy about it. I'll see you next time. Namaste.